for too long our people have cried men and women have been butchered orphans and widows created by the minutes by a war sustained by the greedy who profit from defense contracts and the blood testing who, who seek to destroy our way of life the current administration has failed at solving nigerians multi-layered security problems the boko haram insurgency is quite over yet now the northwest banditry has taken root security forces still have to contend with ritual and religious killings the government promises it is doing its best through our security and defense agencies but little or no results are seen to this effect Nigerians cry out for a proactive defense intervention that will see those nightmares completely wiped out. We will confront them headlong and destroy them. This war will be fought on our terms. We will arm all the willing and able to rid our nation of foreign invaders. We will take the fight to their camps as we arrest and prosecute their sponsors. We will no longer close one flank and leave another flank open for further incursions. The full might of the Nigerian army and the united will of the Nigerian people will confront our enemies. Our army will have clear instructions on what to do to the enemy. Our borders will be close to all those who seek to harm us because we now know the enemy is the enemy irrespective of religion, tribe and tongue. War is war, and Nigeria will win this war. It is bad enough that the government does very little to protect its citizens. Worse still that the victims of these evils do not get justice. Dumebi Kachiko has promised to put an end to impunity. He says he will avenge the lives of all civilians and soldiers who have lost their lives to senseless killings. My administration will avenge the lives of all soldiers and civilians killed. They will pay a huge price for their folly and be told in no uncertain terms that Nigeria is not a no man's land. This is the land of the Nigerian people. This is my promise. The sanctity and dignity of life will be restored under my watch. Ritual killings, trading body parts and kidnappings have no place in civilized society. We will read our forests of scam artists masquerading as native doctors who promise riches to the weak and lazy. We will protect our young men and women from these predators. Mr. Kachuku, who understands that education is the bedrock and first line of defense of a nation, assures Nigerians of his commitment to improving the sector. He also intends to encourage our women to occupy equal positions of leadership. We will defend our future by sufficiently investing in education. If this generation has missed it, the next generation must get it right. We owe this to ourselves. Our schools will have modern teaching aids and learning systems and our kids equipped with smart devices. We will retrain all our teachers and pay them better because they are our first line of defense. Our women will join us on the table of equality. They will be respected and promoted. They will be afforded the same opportunities men have. If they can do it, they will do it. The high rate of crime and corruption in Nigeria can be attributed to the long existing culture of unemployment and underpayment of the teeming workforce. This is something which the Kachiku presidency will change. In this new Nigeria, we won't keep on shouting corruption when our very foundation is corrupt. We will engineer systems and processes that ensure that our citizens don't turn to corruption by default. We will pay a fair pay for hard work. We will no longer cheat our citizens with the ridiculous minimum wage we offer, knowing that we'll leave them no other option but to steal.